Hello, I'm MPX Toycat, and this week we had Minecon Live 2021 confirmed, where we're going to be learning about 1.19, and where they also revealed there is going to be a mob vote, where we can vote for mob 1, 2, and 3. However, someone mentioned that the trailer contains references to three mob slash events, the Ender Dragon, Raids, and the Wither. What's common between the three is that all of them have a boss bar. Quite an interesting observation. In case you're curious, because uh, I, I didn't immediately get what they were talking about with this, if you go back into the trailer, they talk about quadrupomorphic end vision, they talk about pillager raided sound, and they talk about beacon technology to broadcast it, and those three things are obviously all jokes, however, it could be hinting that the only other thing they mentioned in the trailer, the fact that there was going to be a mob vote for one, two, or three, could be for a fourth mob of the same type, which of course the thing they have in common is they all have the boss bar because they are all considered to be Minecraft bosses. Will there be a fourth boss added to Minecraft in a future update, and more importantly, will we the community actually get to decide that? I feel like last year's vote was pretty non-consequential. Whether you cared about the PCAL or whether you cared about the, the Glow Squid or the Isologer, it wasn't really changing Minecraft that much uh, and same for quite a lot of the votes we've had in the past. However, a new boss mob would be truly game-changing and you would be incredibly excited, uh, hopefully for whatever the option is so they'd all be useful, but also for your particular option in my opinion. Speaking of your opinion being important, how do you think they will try and prevent people from influencing the mob vote? This is a good question, Jeff, and by the way, would like to point out, welcome to Q&A Saturday, everyone's favorite weekly series that is only sometimes on a Sunday, where I answer your questions like this one, because a lot of people are fearful of a repeat of last year, where a lot of YouTubers, uh, you know, collectively said, yeah, the Glow Squid's dumb, it can't actually be that dumb, so we'll all vote for it, uh, namely including Dream, and so when Dream tweeted out this, uh, you know, <laughs> week, saying, this year at Minecraft Live, I'm going to rig the vote to be the worst mob out of spite, and there's nothing you can do to stop me, it made a lot of people upset because, oh, it actually turns out it doesn't matter what you vote because a YouTuber with 10 million subscribers, I, I think is the number, um, you know, can influence the game a lot more than you can as an individual, and uh, a lot of people say that's not really fair to democracy. And obviously, uh, this can be counterbalanced by res uh, this response from uh, Mr. Beast, who says, I'm forming an opposing faction that will support the will of the people. Any creators want to join me? And so, obviously, it sounds like when you see both these two people, like, oh, that'll cancel itself out, except not really actually. What that really does is that cancels out the vote of everyone who like looks at the free mobs and thinks what they should vote for in their own right. And given that this whole exercise is Mojang trying to kind of give a democratic voice to the community, isn't it kind of dumb if they then let that voice be silenced, you might say? Uh, but in reality, if this is meant to teach you about democracy and why it's important to vote, I mean, you should have enough proof from looking at the Phantom and the Glow Squid, which are now permanently Minecraft features um, as important enough reason to vote. However, um, it, you know, real life Democracy has this exact same thing too, where although a lot of people do go to the polls and they make their own decision in their own heads, a lot of people were going, oh yeah, well this guy said that the other guy's terrible, and uh, you know, to use the United States as an example, because everyone follows their presidential elections, um, there are a ton of things that are happening under current president that people would have hated were they happening under former president, and there's a ton of things that people would have loved um, that happened under former president, but they hated because it was that guy instead of their current guy. People are very suspicious susceptible to media narratives and being pushed around by that, and we shouldn't see that as a flaw in the system, but instead as kind of outsourcing decision making. What is going to be the best mob uh, to be added in this mob vote? We don't know for sure, and we won't know for sure, and ultimately, if you're, you know, on the fence a little bit, why not take the opinion of your favorite YouTuber? I'm always very clear to be like, when I talk about something, this is my opinion. Obviously, uh, my opinion is dumb, and I think that it's important to stress that it's all good to actually pick for yourself based on what you think, and uh, I felt like if people did that better in the real world, we'd have a good thing, but they don't, and so they don't do it in the Minecraft world either. Nikosan54085 says, Minecraft 1.19 should be the fishing update, changed my mind. So at Minecon Live this year, they could announce that Minecraft 1.19 is the fishing update. It seems unlikely, but they're updating Skyrim to add a fishing update, so why not have a fishing update for Minecraft? This is actually a really great idea. I think when you look at fishing, it's a mechanic that doesn't make sense anymore. Now that there are live fish in the ocean, why can you just pull fish out of nowhere with your fishing rod. It makes no sense to me. It would be much better, in my opinion, if uh, there was a fishing update where you actually had to do something cool with a fishing rod, where they could have new fishing enchantments and different types of rod. But that's just my dreams. Everyone has dreams. And we also have memes, like this next comment from Kyle, who says, would you vote for the Moo Bloom again? And this is a dumb question, because would you can be removed from that? I am going to vote for the Moo Bloom again. You might say, Toy Cat, that's not one of the free options. I'm going to vote for the Moo Bloom regardless, and you can't stop 
meat, no matter how hard you try. Michael Sivian uh, 18 asks, can we just get all the stuff that was promised to us in previous updates? I'm really starting to dislike mob slash biome votes, especially after what happened last year. And uh, this is because ever since the first mob vote where they said the three, uh, you know, concepts that don't win will be discarded forever, there was a huge community backlash. And so every other mob vote since then, they've said, you're picking which thing comes first. The other things will come at some undisclosed time. But I think in reality, what they actually do is they throw away the concept, not forever, just indefinitely. They're like, yeah, we could come back for this, but we don't actually intend to. I don't think Mojang has a timeline for when they're going to add uh, you know, swamp boats and when they're gonna, uh, boats with chests, I should say, and frogs. And I don't think they have a timeline for when they're gonna add the Isolager and the Moobloom, which is why we need to vote for it this year, by the way. And yeah, I would personally say that it's the sort of thing that is kind of misleading when they phrase it that way and they don't really intend to add them in the near future. Uh, but I think, again, if they just need to avoid the backlash of saying we're gonna get rid of the mobs, it's an easy compromise because, uh, just like when anyone asks for something and you don't really want to do it, but they won't stop asking you, you can say, oh yeah, eventually, just like how Minecraft Earth got shut down this year, and so Fox asks, which mobs from Minecraft Earth would you like to see migrated to Minecraft? Now it's been discontinued. And of course, I'd like to see this mob, 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 this mob. and... You know what? I'll also take this mob and the Melon Golem too, if we really have to push it. Um, obviously, I would love to see all those Minecraft Earth mobs come to the main game. And although I don't think we'll actually see all of those come, I think it's entirely possible um, that because we have a big part of Minecon Live, which is usually dedicated to Minecraft Earth, that now no longer can be, I think they'll use some of that time to be like, oh yeah, it's sad that it's gone, but here's some memorial. Will it be a new Minecraft Earth mob in the base game? Who knows? Will it be uh, something more deep? Who knows for sure? Uh, but I hope they have something uh, big to announce on that front, and uh, we'll see at Minecon Live. By the way, I'm going to be streaming the event, so when the unknown one, TU0, asks who's going to watch Toy Cat's live stream of the event, and this is a weird question to answer in Q&A Saturday, because if I say me, it's not really a correct answer, but you might be asking, answer, asking yourself, like, yeah, I want to watch the Toy Cat stream, because I'm going to be uh, re uh, streaming it literally live here on the channel, so you can watch my reactions. We can, we can go through the whole thing together. It's a lot of fun. We do it every year, uh, but you might be curious as to when it's happening. Here are the global broadcast times for Minecraft Live. On October the 16th, of 2021. You can watch it at 5 p.m. if you live in London, 6 p.m. if you live in Stockholm, 1 a.m. on the 17th if you live in Tokyo, and 3 a.m. if you live in Sydney on the 7th. Man, it must suck to live in Sydney, wait, waiting till 3 a.m. Um, but if you live on the West Coast of America, it's 9 a.m. On the East Coast, it's 12 p.m. And it's 1 p.m. in Sao Paulo. There's a billion other time zones you can convert from those ones, but that is when we're gonna be streaming, and I'm very excited for that, just like how I'm very excited for this question from David Corner Hard MC, a Minecraft developer who says what are your free mob ideas that you think the community should vote on and um again obviously moo bloom moo bloom and moo bloom you know could make a grand uh, point about democracy and how really you're voting on exactly the same options regardless of what you want and uh, you know maybe that there's some alternative options is the real thing you should be voting for um, but what I also think uh, is a more valuable thing is to actually give free good ideas so I think free boss mobs would be incredible I would love to see for example uh, the community deciding between like a rare dragon event that's in the overworld and just sometimes um, you know can be found and you can kind of start it or we could have like a cave boss something that very rarely spawns down there. It feels like the warden is kind of filling that space, but you know, what if there was also a boss that was found amongst the wardens, uh, you know, to kind of make your game even more challenging? And then my third idea is, don't you think it's weird that the Never doesn't have a boss? Uh, you know, the Wither is all the dimensions, but it'd be cool if there was something huge for the Never. Uh, I think King Blaze, the idea from the mob vote uh, back in uh, 2017. I think a King Blaze would be incredible. Add some magic to it, add some fun, and uh, yeah, I, if, if I ever make a new mob, it'll be a King Blaze, that's for sure. Speaking of the King Blaze, I think that Brennan Zink has a good question, because is there a release date for the next update? 1.19 is in fact coming out in 2022. It is in fact confirmed, but the interesting question here is will it be early 2022 or will it be late 2022? The reason that's so interesting is because if they're trying to do early, you know, the first half, that implies that they're trying to get back to this two updates a year formula because they did, you know, Jeb has said this a long time ago, they were intending to do two updates every single year. However, we've only seen that happen twice now. Once was with the Buzzy Bees and the uh, Village and Village update, which, you know, Buzzy Bees wasn't really a full update. And then this year we saw 1.17 and we're gonna see 1.18. But like, does that 
that really count? Because they're called Caves and Cliffs Part 1 and Part 2. So yeah, next year's going to be very interesting. They could do the exact same thing and say, yeah, 1.19 is going to be split in two. Fishing Update, or whatever it's called, Part 1 and Fishing Update Part 2. However, uh, again, we don't know for sure what the plan is regarding one update a year or two updates a year. Um, because, again, they had a really nice groove of one a year and then this year maybe seemed to throw them off. So we'll have to wait and see, of course. You know what else we're going to have to wait and see on? This next question, because, hey, Toy Cat, will you give us another update of your Let's Play world in the marketplace? And it's a good thing you ask, Jura Miss. Because the Let's Play world has finally received an update on the marketplace. There's no actual notification system for doing this, so you can search either IBX Toy Maps, that's the name of the map making company, or you can search Toy Cat, I think. No, you cannot search Toy Cat. Huh. Well, if you search IBX Toy Maps, because, you know, when I think Toy Cat, I think Art Lab, World of Colors, and the Braveheart skin pack. But if you do search IBX Toy Maps, then you'll find Toy Cat's Let's Play World has a brand new update. And once you've downloaded that update, you'll be able to play the newest copy of that world from late July. Um, we're actually working on uploading another one to replace this copy, because if you have a very low-end device, you're going to have some issues with all the cows that spawn. We've got to kill the cows before releasing the map. However, yeah, if you want to see the latest progress, it's free to download if you already own the world. And uh, yeah, uh, that's important. Every update will always be free for both this and indeed for, uh, for any other map that is released. Because fun fact, there is another map coming out soon. Ultra Hard Survival Hexed. Uh, here are some marketing images. It looks very nice, I think. I'm looking forward to sharing more of that as it comes out. But for now, there's a free update. Give it a download if you want to see the latest of what's gone on in Toy Cat's Let's Play World. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. You can subscribe with notifications turned on if you want to see more like it. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of Minecon live news over the next month. And then in about a month, we'll be watching it live together. It's going to be a lot of fun. But you know what else is a lot of fun? Uh, obviously, I am going to be live streaming uh, later, uh, later today. If you want to see my Draining the Ocean playlist and you want to watch those live streams back, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing the eighth part. I am draining an entire ocean. It's it's taken like 15 hours so far, and we're doing a little bit more tonight, I think. Maybe not, but we'll see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.